Right now, friends of Krista and Bart Halderson are taking the stand as day two of the Chandler Halderson murder trial continues. What one of them says Chandler told her after his parents went missing. Also, one of the largest school districts in the country is going virtual as COVID cases continue to spread and why you may need to upgrade your mask. This is News 3 Now at noon. Good afternoon and welcome to News 3. Let's head to the Weather Center where Julian Seawright has a look at your certified most accurate forecast blustery day out there. That's right. A blustery day continues for us as we still have that winter weather advisory in effect until 6 p.m. this evening for all of southern Wisconsin. Now, as we go in, here's our alert day that's in effect for us because we're looking at windy conditions with snow. Showers and flurries are going to be blowing around because of these strong winds, but gusts from 30 to 45 miles per hour, which will be reducing our visibility throughout the course of the day. So definitely take notes of that if you're going to be traveling for the lunch hour or even for this evening. Now, as of right now, we are starting to see it taper off just a bit. Any small band of light snow that we're seeing starting to fizzle out, but for the most part, we are still going to be seeing those showers still continue throughout the course of the day. And even for right now here in Madison, we do have some areas where we are looking at some light flurries and even some light showers for us. 13 degrees, however, and those winds are still blowing, but we can take a look at that visibility. Already very, uh, po very poor throughout much of southern Wisconsin. It's been poor since this morning as well. And we're going to be looking at what else to expect coming up in a few moments. Until then, let's go ahead and toss it back to you, Mark. All right, Julian, we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you. The trial of Chandler Halderson resumes today with a second day of testimonies. Halderson is accused of killing and dismembering his parents. Today began with family friends of Bart and Krista Halderson being called to the stand. Hannah Hilgendorf and her sister Haley said they visited Chandler when they found out his parents were missing. She says his demeanor was weird and was acting differently than he normally does. During that visit, Hannah told the jury she didn't feel very safe during the visit. I don't know how to explain it, but this is, it's like I'm sitting in the middle of what now seems to be a crime scene with somebody who is acting differently than I'm used to. And it, it just doesn't feel like a good idea. She also said Chandler said if a cop ever asked to take your phone, you don't need to. You can show them everything you need without giving them your phone. The defense did not cross-examine her. Now coming up on News 3 Now at 4 and 5, we'll have a breakdown of day two, including more of today's testimonies. And if you want to stay up to date with the trial, we have a page dedicated to it on channel3000.com. There you can live stream the trial as it's happening and catch up on all of the latest updates. We also have a full, uh, full timeline of events from the case leading up to the trial, including an interview with Chandler Halderson just days before his arrest. Again, you can find all of this on channel3000.com. Here in Madison, students returning from winter break tomorrow will stay at home. Classes are going virtual until at least Monday, January 10th. The district says that decision was based on record high COVID cases, staffing shortages, and testing ability. We're expected an update from the school officials by the end of the week on whether kids will return in person by Monday. The nation's third largest school district canceled classes today because of teachers' concerns over the latest COVID surge. An average of about a half a million Americans have tested positive every day over the past week. Bradley Blackburn reports from New York. The CDC is warning hospital admissions and deaths will likely increase in the coming weeks as the record-breaking COVID surge continues. New hospital admissions in Miami-Dade, Florida are up 550% in just two weeks. As the hospitals get strained, there is less opportunity to to provide uh, all these resources to the one single patient. Because of the surge, Chicago's public school teachers voted to switch to remote learning, prompting officials to cancel classes. Going into schools puts us at risk. Um, puts our students and families at risk. The CDC tried to clarify its guidance for people who test positive but are asymptomatic or mildly ill. The agency stopped short of requiring those people to get a negative test before ending isolation after five days. But it said if someone has, quote, access to a test and wants a test, they should use it. And those who test positive should isolate for another five days. It is confusing. Uh, it does feel like a bit of a choose your own adventure. If this, then this. It all comes as the U.S. sees a shortage of rapid antigen tests nationwide. At this pharmacy in Denver, rapid tests are selling out on the same day the shipment comes in. We ended up selling through 600 within the business day. The federal government is launching a website for Americans to order free tests, but it won't be up and running until later this month. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.
And the Biden administration says it's in the process of purchasing 500 million at-home tests. Meanwhile, the CDC panel will meet this afternoon to consider booster shots for 12 to 15-year-olds. For nearly two years, we've been hearing how important it is to mask up to prevent COVID-19 from spreading. But with the new rapidly spreading Omicron variant, experts say cloth masks don't cut it anymore, and it's time for an upgrade. A typical cloth mask might be 50% effective, and that was okay before. It doesn't seem to be enough with Omicron. We have special masks called respirators, such as an N95, that offer much greater protection. They're able to block 95% of particles that are either going out of your mouth or that you're breathing in. As for kids, Dr. Marr says also choose a good mask that's comfortable with a good fit and filtration. Some respirators are designed for kids, but N95s are not designed for younger children. Well, there's more to come on News 3 Now at noon. Employers go on an end-of-year hiring spree, and you shouldn't have. Retailers brace for the post-holiday return rush. I'm Naomi Ruckham at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. The Home Expo is coming this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Meet the top builders, remodelers, and home improvement experts at the Monona Terrace Convention Center this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Those brave men and women of our armed forces generations of them. Why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Another injury claim. Another denial. What's the status of that car accident? Denied it this morning. Good. Not a fan of paying high medical bills. Our doctor totally came through. Good. Let's make sure we do the same thing on the next one. Denying is what we do. <laughs> <coughs> they called the law offices of Hupie and Abraham. Should we settle this one? Call Hupie and Abraham right now. Tell the insurance company you mean business. There's been much debate about the Mona Lisa smile. Would it have been bigger and brighter if she'd had good dental care? Maybe if Physicians Mutual Insurance Company had been around back then, it'd be a different story. She could have gone to the dentist more, knowing she'd have help paying the bills. And those regular checkups might have found early signs of tooth decay or gum disease, costly problems that could keep anyone from smiling. Physicians Mutual offers affordable coverage that can help pay for cleanings and unexpected or expensive procedures you might need, like crowns or dentures. This is real dental insurance, not just a discount plan or for checkups only. There are no deductibles and there's no annual maximum. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Call or go online today for a free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Get the dental care you need to help you stay healthy. For your free information kit with all the details, call us now or go to sendinfokit.com. News 3 Now, your vaccine information headquarters. Are you worried about getting in and out of your bathtub to shower? Don't step over, step through with Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. Let us custom fit your tub to be a walk-in shower without any remodeling. Our bathtub conversions take a few hours to complete. Call before you fall. Wisconsin Walk-In Showers. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Employers ramped up hiring in December at the fastest pace in months. According to payroll processor ADP, private companies added 807,000 positions last month, more than doubling expectations. New jobs were added across the board, but leisure and hospitality positions led the way. Walmart is hiring more than 3,000 drivers as the company expands in-home grocery delivery. With the service, Walmart employees deliver groceries directly into a shopper's home using a one-time access code. 
The all-electric delivery fleet is expected to service 30 million homes by the end of the year. Younger generations are paying more than three times as much in ATM and overdraft fees when compared to baby boomers. A new bank rate survey found baby boomers pay an average of $2 a month in bank fees, while Gen Xers, ages 42 to 57, pay twice that amount. Millennials pay far more at $16 a month on average. And with the holiday shopping season behind us, now comes the wave of returns. According to UPS, one in four Americans expect to make a post-holiday return. And more than 40% plan to bring or send back at least three items. Northeasterners are most likely to make a return, while folks in the West and Midwest are least likely to hang on to that gift receipt. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Naomi Ruckham. Naomi, thank you. Let's check Wall Street at the noon hour. The Dow Industrials up 109 points. The NASDAQ down 194. And the S&P 500 off about four and a half. Well, there's still more ahead on News for Now at Noon. Pam Yankee from the Midwest Farm Report will have today's egg numbers. And Howard from the Mr. Food Test Kitchen cooks up a healthy breakfast to try out. Plus, the winter weather advisory continues until 6 o'clock this evening. Julian has the complete forecast next. County Ryan and Ryan Funeral Homes. While things have changed, it's still necessary for families to stay connected. And when it comes to the loss of a loved one, it's important to process and grieve and honor your loved one in a way that keeps everyone safe. We're doing this through intimate services and private virtual streaming so your family can be part of the service no matter where they are. Ryan Funeral Homes are here with your safety in mind and compassionate care in your time of need. down the days, but my ski trip to Cascade Mountain with my cousin each year, so much fun. We used to pretend like we were flying. Now, we really do. My dad and my uncle like that we still <laughs> ski free, but Noah and I, we just have fun. See you there. Do you suffer from erectile dysfunction? Peak Performance for Men uses an advanced form of acoustic wave therapy, restoring normal and natural functionality where it counts most. Call now and receive an ultrasound. Your initial consultation, all for free. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Happy Holidays from Meineke Car Care Center. We would like to thank you for your business this year and wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season. Drive safe during all of your travels. Meineke, doing car care right. Whether you have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom. Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. COVID's latest surge has stressed healthcare workers like never before. Josh Breider shares how one grateful community is saying thanks to the heroes who serve them. And we have an alert day in the forecast for bitterly cold temperatures. We have the details for 437 tomorrow morning. News 3 Now's Call for Action team advocates for you, asking the right questions. Do yeah. you hope to make that right? And getting results. They sent a water heater the next day after you made the call. Call for Action, only on News 3 Now. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let's check in now with Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report. Happy New Year to you. And the same to you, my friend. Yeah, it's uh, nice to take that break, but feels good to get back in here, especially in here when the wind's blowing like it is outside. But we'll uh, wait on that forecast in a moment. But I'll tell you what, the wind is blowing down in Chicago today as well. This is a story that's been develop developing for the past couple of weeks. But boy, today the numbers really uh, catch my attention. Butter. Uh, we have seen our butter price in Chicago escalate to a high that we haven't seen probably since about 2004 by my calculator. I should say... 
2014 by my calculations. Uh, needless to say, it is something that consumers are going to want to pay attention to. Today, AA butter in Chicago went up six cents to 271 a pound. Now that's in Chicago. That's in the marketplace. So you know when uh, you add in transportation, refrigeration, uh, marketing uh, markups that you'll see for retailers, that butter is going to start to get pretty expensive. So Pam, why is this going on? Well, the U.S. Department of Agriculture reminds everybody that we have seen milk production in the United States go down year over year for about the past two months time. That's one thing to factor in. Also, during the holiday season, uh, supply chain issues, just like you're hearing with other areas of food production, employees unable to show up because of either uh, illness or concerns over Omicron, et cetera, are slowing down production. Also, there's less milk available specifically for butter production. That's uh, something that we call spot market milk and uh, just not as much out there when you've got strong demand for things like cheese. We also are seeing an awful lot of movement internationally sending our dairy products from outside the state of Wisconsin into the international marketplace. Like I said, dairy is the hot commodity today. Barrel cheese up seven and a quarter at 187 and a quarter. 40 pound block cheese up a nickel, 206 and a half. And like I said, double A butter up six cents today in historical territory at 271 a pound. Our retirement plan going on butter, Mark, we may be out of here by the end of the week if this keeps up. <laughs> <laughs> promises, promises. I know, I know. Keep I think we'll probably crossed, hang around. All right, Pam, thank I, you. I'm guessing. Good to see you All again. Right. Let's head back to Julia now for a full look at your forecast. Well, just a refresher. We've been talking about it all morning, but we still do have our winter weather advisory in effect until 6 p.m. for us here in southern Wisconsin and for pretty much all of Wisconsin as well, which has also prompted our alert day through today. Windy with snow showers and flurries is what we're going to be seeing throughout the course of the day, and that blowing snow because of such strong winds is going to be lowering our visibility as well. So make sure that you take note of that when you're going to be doing your commute for either lunch or even for the evening as well. And this is all brought to you by from this strong system that has moved its way in, which has brought plenty of snow into the upper Midwest, but behind this cold front is where we're starting to see the strong winds that we've been seeing since this morning and will continue throughout the rest of this afternoon into this evening. But as of right now, the snow is starting to taper off just a bit as we're heading into the rest of our afternoon, so that's one good thing, but the visibility is still on the lower end as we continue throughout. 13 degrees as of right now, still have some light flurries near the airport here in Madison as we're continuing our morning, but as I mentioned, the visibility is still pretty poor out there. Three miles for Mineral Point, Platteville, six miles in Madison, and seven miles into Janesville. And as we take a look at our wind gusts, not super strong, but still very noticeable. As we're looking at 30s over into the southwest and 41 for Monroe, but 26 miles per hour gusting winds here in Madison. And that is really bringing our wind chills to make today just straight up bitter. As we're looking at net below zero temperatures into the west and zero degrees is what it feels like here in Madison. But we're going to start to see those gusts start to pick back up once again as we head into the rest of our afternoon, especially for our evening commute, looking at winds gusts around the upper middle 30s, and then it'll start to finally die down as we get into tonight. However, for around the evening commutes around 5 p.m., not going to be seeing too much in terms of snow. It's mainly going to stay north of Dane County and into the northeast, but we could still see some pop-up showers and then some flurries as we go into tonight as well. So that's one thing to keep an eye on, but in terms of how much in uh, for accumulations, we're looking at trace amounts. Some areas are not even going to be looking at much of even a trace of amount. But as we can see, much of the snow accumulation will be very much more north of where we are. So if anything else, is looking for a quick little dusting and that will be it. But even still, just enough snow to be falling in the sky with those strong winds will be making enough of a treacherous uh, of our commute as we head into the rest of our lunchtime and even for the evening as well. So just keep an eye out for blowing snow and some slick spots when you are going to be making your commute home for tonight. Temperatures are not going to be improving much from what we're seeing as of right now. Maybe a degree or two, but we're staying into those teens and with those winds, again, we're looking at wind chills of single digits, zero or even below zero throughout the course of the day. But today's not the only day it's going to be on the colder side. As we head into Thursday and Friday, we're looking at more continuations of this bitter cold. However, we're going to be behind on the gusts and for the snow showers, we're putting that behind us on the back burner for a couple of days until we get into about Saturday where we could be seeing a bit of a switch up. But after today's alert day, our other alert days will be from Friday and for Monday because of how cold it is going to be. We're looking at the winds, 
winds, to bring in those wind chills into values that will be well below zero. And the nighttime <laughs> marks single digits and negatives. It's going to be very cold. I know I'm going to have my heat on throughout the rest of the next 10 days. You're going to have your heat on for the next four months. <sighs> Probably at this rate. Give, it, give is, you a hint. <laughs> it is so cold. I don't even, I can't even go to bed without a hoodie on. <laughs> Whatever you have to do. Yeah. All right, Julian, thank you. Up next, we're heading over to the Mr. Food Test Kitchen where Howard has a healthy way to jumpstart your day with a breakfast that he says is out of this world. This time of year, it's hard not to feel bombarded by everyone trying to sell us some type of diet plan or exercise equipment. For some of us, that's just what we need. But for others, it only takes a few weeks before our diet plan is forgotten about and the treadmill ends up being used as a clothing rack. Instead, I like to get on track by weaving a few healthy and tasty recipes into my weekly routine, like this one. We start by beating some egg whites until they're stiff. To that, we fold in some cooked crumbled turkey sausage, scallions, and diced pimentos. Now we spoon this onto a lined baking sheet. Before popping these into the oven, we make a well in the center of each mound using the back of a spoon. After these get baked for a few minutes, we take them out, place an egg yolk in the well, and back into the oven they go. Once the yolk sets up, they're ready to serve. Yup, big, fluffy, and packed with flavor. Serve each one with some fresh fruit and whole wheat toast, and breakfast is ready. The recipe for what we call our loaded egg clouds is waiting for you on our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a lighter than airway for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, Howard, thank you. Up next, Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here. There she is. She's going to make some delicious soup recipes just in time for winter. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Oh my gosh. Wow. Who am I? Wow, is that really me? <laughs> Hi, I'm Annette and I'm an actress. Under eye bags and wrinkles are so frustrating. They're so hard to hide and so hard to get rid of. I came across Plexiderm and I was so excited. We have a model, his name is Richie, and all he's doing is taking a small amount. It's so powerful, that's all it takes. This new year, in just 10 minutes, you'll look incredible. This is something that you can do in the convenience of your own home. It's a cream, it's a topical, it literally creates an invisible layer that tightens the skin and smooths it out. All you do is gently rub it underneath your eyes on your fine lines and wrinkles and it visibly disappears in as little as 10 minutes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. It feels great. It looks even better. I can't even believe that this worked. I was a little skeptical. I am not going to lie because I saw people online with it. And I'm like, yeah, right. That can't possibly work. I'm telling you, it really works. I thought I might see a little difference, but to see that big of a difference and you know I felt something happening but I had no idea like I have so many dark circles I have the puffiness I have the lines like it's amazing I love it <laughs> I did this to my father at home because I was skeptical yes I admit it four minutes 34 seconds the appearance of his under eye bag was completely gone we were screaming you have an event you have any of those moments where you want to feel the best about yourself I am telling you the video videos that you see on social media and TV are real. This new year is the best time to get Plexiderm for only $14.95 and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Plug their defenses. Sir, yes, sir. Charge! Combat leaves debris and damage to your home and property uh. all year round with a solution you can get and forget. LeafGuard is the only gutter system guaranteed never to clog, whatever the weather. Call 1-833-LEAFGUARD today for a free in-home estimate and get a $50 gift card. Defend your gutters from clogs forever with LeafGuard. Call 1-833-LEAFGUARD today. 
Welcome back, Angie Horkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council, joining us now from her kitchen. Happy New Year, Angie. Happy New Year. But you have some soup recipes. That's perfect for a chilly evening like this. It is definitely a soup kind of day, isn't it? We didn't plan that, but it works out nicely. But um, I've got a couple of really new, um, warm, hearty beef soup recipes I wanted to share with you guys today. And the first one I've got almost all the way done, so I'll finish it here quick. Um, but if you're a dill pickle lover, this soup is for you. It's called a beefy dill pickle soup. So I started with a couple large russet potatoes. I peeled them and did a big dice and then some carrots. And I simmered those in my stock pot in some beef broth and some butter. So about 20 minutes to get them softened. And then I'm gonna add in a cup of chopped dill pickle and then a roux and actually the roux to thicken it is made with flour and half a cup of dill pickle juice and then some sour cream so i've got two i got the dill pickle juice and the pickles in this soup and you can really smell the pickle um after you get it so so if you are a pickle lover you got to try this now this roux will make this really nice and thick so you want to give this a couple minutes at home to kind of thicken up and then the beef goes on top so i've got um a top sirloin steak that I actually um, did on my stovetop in a cast iron pan in my grill pan. The recipe on the website says to grill it. So if you can, if you're still a January griller, go ahead. But I did mine right in the in the kitchen, and I did it to a nice medium rare. I did that while my potatoes and carrots were simmering, and uh, this is already thickening up beautifully. And you'll see this is a beautiful soup, and it's delicious. I can smell the dill pickle juice. It's just, it's really fun. A new recipe to try. Um, kids should like it if they like dilled vegetables. And then put the steak right on top. The steak just has a little salt and pepper and a little all-purpose seasoning on it. Look at that. That's a beefy um, dill pickle soup. And my second recipe is called a creamy ground beef pasta soup. Um, so you use spaghetti sauce, a can of tomato sauce, you got your pasta in here, cooks along with your ground beef, a little bit of onion and beef broth. And then at the end, put in a half a chunk of cream cheese to make it creamy. 30 minute soup, 45 minute soup. You could top this with some fresh basil if you like. But look at that, two awesome, stick to your ribs, warm, hearty, really tasty, family friendly soup recipes. Perfect, perfect for days like today. Perfect for this winter. Beeftips.com is our Wisconsin Beef Council website. Click right on As Seen on TV, and you'll find these soup recipes plus a lot of other great beefy soup recipes. Perfect for this time of year. All brought to you by Wisconsin's Beef and Dairy Producers through the Beef Checkoff. I'm intrigued by this dill pickle soup. It's very good. I can smell it. I, well, we loved dill pickles and dill vegetables to make our own here in my house. So it's going to be one of our new favorites. Okay. Sounds good. All right, Angela, stay warm. Yeah, you too. Hopefully I'll see you soon. All right. We're just getting word into the newsroom that the Iowa Grant schools are closing at two o'clock this afternoon. So uh, parents adjust accordingly. And Julian, I guess it's all because of the snow and the wind out there. I was about to say, the snow and the wind have just made all kinds of a mess here for our Wednesdays. We take a look at our wind chills for one final look at weather. That's right, folks. It is cold and it's perfect for us just staying inside and having some nice warm soup. As we look at wind chills still into zero and below zero degree temperatures. Gusts, the winds will continue throughout the rest of our afternoon and finally die off as we go into tonight. But as we wrap up, get to the 10 day we are going to be seeing temperatures not see much improvement for the next couple of days we're definitely going to, have to stay warm but we do have an alert day for friday and for monday as well over to you mark all right bundle up be careful stay warm out there drive safely that's our time for now thanks for watching we'll see you back here at four o'clock in the meantime have yourselves a great afternoon